Hey gang, Jack Letter here. Uh, trying out a new angle for this pickups video. Uh, started uh, getting things ready for the room tour or shed tour that Ed keeps asking for. Uh, meanwhile, let me show you what I got. Now, we'll start off with a few uh, non-video game related items. Uh, the first of which, I picked up a uh, laser disc of Exo Squad. Now, for those of you who don't know what Exo Squad is, it was a cartoon that was out, let's see, back in 1994 is when this one came out. And this is volume two. It contains four different episodes. I uh, picked it up for a little under four bucks from my local half price books. Uh, they had everything in the store 30% off, so I decided to pick up quite a few things. The next thing that I picked up is a copy of Moon Knight, God and Country. Uh, I actually really like Moon Knight as a character. I've followed him since the late 80s, I think. And just really love the character as a whole, because he's not your normal superhero. Now these I found on clearance. And what they are is that they are little character packs for D&D. &D. Now there's the, I got the Shaman and the Rogue. And there are more there. They were on clearance for about two bucks. And as a former gamer, I walked by and went, eh, you know what? I'll throw them in my collection. Just to have them around. I uh, also picked up, uh, just because of, to celebrate the release of Sonic 4 Episode 2. Sonic, Sonic 4 Episode 2. I picked up a copy of this Nintendo Power, uh, which is Sonic Reborn. You know, this is back when he was reborn in Sonic Colors. Not reborn this time, or the time before that, or the like three times since then. But, uh, love, love me some Nintendo Power. Uh, good reading. It's even got, uh, you know, special guide to Mario in it. So some fun reading for, uh, for me later Picked on. up another Neo Geo Pocket Color game. Pause the link. I played it a little bit. I'm gonna throw a video up of this just because I don't think there's enough uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color videos up on the site, up on YouTube. So I'm gonna get a good video of this so that you guys can see what it looks like. It's really weird and kind of fun and I don't really understand it all that much, but it's fun. Now the next pickups are Genesis games. And I picked these up because I wanted one of them, but it was buy two, get the third free at Movie Trading Company. So, ever a sucker for stuff like that. Uh, I started out with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, you might be asking yourself, good lord, why did you ever buy Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Answer to that is my four year old son absolutely friggin' loves the Power Rangers. But my four year old son loves this game, so we're gonna sit and play it tomorrow uh, out here in the man shed. I uh, picked up Virtual Racing because one, it comes in this giant cartridge, which always weirds me out, and two, because it says dun -dun -dun -dun, Blockbuster on the back. I love picking up games from Blockbuster because every time I take a little piece of this, it's like I'm taking bricks out of the building of Blockbuster so that they will collapse. And the last game, I don't even know if this is good, but I remember playing the Super Nintendo version. Picked up Clay Fighter. There we go. Picked up Clay Fighter. So one of those three I got for free. You decide which one uh, makes the most sense. Now I did go out to uh, some yard sales today and I picked up a, a Hot Wheels case for my son. Nothing too spectacular there. But I also picked up this. And if you're looking at this saying, no, no, you already showed us that, but I showed you the Sidewinder. This is the Sidewinder with force feedback. Now what that means is that this, got this for a dollar by the way, 
this monster, it works the same. You've got the same buttons up here. Got the same buttons down there. You got the same little throttle dooby job. But this one, when you get hit, it goes <laughs> When you walk, it goes <laughs> So as you walk, it actually, in the games that support it, support it, mind you, it go, it actually like moves the controller a little bit. It's kind of like when you're, if you're in the, if you're in the arcades and you're turning the racing wheel and you turn it and it goes, and it tries to pull you back. That's the same thing. It's force feedback. It's what Microsoft invented, or not invented. It's what Microsoft labeled a bunch of them as, and it's actually pretty cool. And I can't wait to plug this in and continue playing MechWarrior 3 with this. Say hello to my little friend. And GameStop continuing its uh, selling off of games without cases that I have the cases for and manuals. So these are all complete. Uh, first two I didn't have in my collection, so now I do. Uh, Devil May Cry. Gran Turismo 4. Both of those were uh, a little under three bucks, which is a screaming deal, in my opinion. Lupin the Third. If you haven't seen this, holy crap, the show is weird, guys. And I don't mean like weird, I mean like Japan weird. No offense. I love Japan. It is the craziest place on earth, and I really wish that I could visit. But sadly, my wife and I have made a deal. First, we have to take a trip to Ireland. Then we can take a trip to Japan after that. So I'm looking like four years down the road. But Lupin the Third, absolutely crazy cartoon, anime, whatever you want to call it. And it's just go go find the show, watch some of the show, and I, I'm kind of afraid. But it's uh, Lupin the Third, Treasure of the Sorcerer King. And the last one, uh, a game that I could never remember. I would always go into the store and get there and go like, Oh, I should get this. Wait, do I have this game? I don't know if I have this game. Uh, and then I would get home and go, Oh, I don't have that game. I need to get that game. And that is uh, Mace Griffin Bounty Hunter. From what I remember, this was a really fun game. Or at least not horribly offensive. So, uh... <gasps> I don't remember why. That's right. Henry Rollins does the voice of Mace Griffin. It all makes sense now why I wanted that game. Uh, but that's uh, all I had time to get to do today. I did go see Avengers. Let me talk briefly about that without spoiling anything. Joss Whedon, once again, tip of the hat to you, sir. Outstanding job. Uh, anybody who had anything to do with that movie, to include even the concession people that popped the popcorn that I ate, amazing, amazing movie. I took, uh, I went, my nine year old son and my four year old son, we all loved it. And I really wish that there was a game to go out with it, even though it would suck, we would all still play it. We might go back and play uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, just to kind of cover our bases there. Because I'm not digging out the Avengers for NES or torturing them with the arcade, because that would be mean. But uh, that's all I got, and thank you very much for watching. As always, play on! Now, the next pickup are, the next pickup is, are, the next pickups are, okay. Sorry, quick sidetrack. For those of you in the UK, yes, I do understand what frigging is, and I do apologize that I replaced that for dropping the F-bomb, but in the US, no one here knows what frigging is, so I can get away with it. Oh, and I realized that I just said it like six times. Anyways, 
And from what I remember, this was actually a really fun game, or at least not 